Tamu Bavli Gmar Brachot, Perik Shishi, Daf Lamed Vav Aleph, Chapter 6, Page 30, Page 36a. We're just going to start from the last few words on the previous page. A nigaron maya desilka, a nigaron is water made from cooked beetroot or beets. Oxygaron maya oxygaron is soup made from water. Dehuhu shalake of all cooked vegetables. Im ken havale anigaroni kave shemen tafel, but if so, the anigaron is the primary and the oil is a supplement. Utna, and then we learned in a Mishnah, Zehaklal, this is the rule, Koshehui kave imovitfele, whatever is primary and is subordinate with it. Mevarech al haikal poter et hatfela. One recites the blessing of the primary food and is discharged and discharges the subordinate food as well. Hachaba may ask inan, what are we dealing with here? Vechoshesh bigrono, with one who feels pain in his throat, so he drinks a nigaron with olive oil. Titania, it was taught in the Baraisa, hachoch. Hachoshesh bigrono, no one who feels pain in his throat, lo ye ar enu beshemen tchila beshabat may not initially bathe his throat with oil on Shabbat. Aval noten shemen kabele tof anigaron volea, but he may pour a lot of oil into anigaron and swallow it. Shita, this is obvious. Mahu detema, you might have said, kevan de lirefua. Since his intent is for remedy, he should not reciting a blessing on it altogether. He informs us that since one derives pleasure from it, one must recite a blessing. Uh, the blessing on wheat flour. Rav Yoda, Ma Bore Priyadama, Rav Yoda says, the one uh, says, Bore Priyadama, Rav Nachman Amar Shakol Nye Bidvaro, Rav Nachman says, Shakol Nye Bidvaro, Amale Rava Le Rav Nachman, Rava said to not Rav Nachman, Lo Tiflog Alei, De Rav Yoda, do you not dispute Rav Yoda's ruling, De Rav Yochanan Shmuel Kayeme Kavate, for Rav Yochanan and Shmuel takes the same stand as him. The Amma Rav Yoda Amma Shmuel Rav Yoda said in the name of Shmuel Vechanama Chenama Rav Yitzchak Amma Rav Yochanan. So said Rav Yitzchak in the name of Rav Yochanan. Shem Ben Zayit Mevachina La Borei Priya Etz on olive oil one recites Borei Priya Etz. Amma Af Al Gav Dishtane. Evidently, even though the olive has been changed, that is from solid into liquid, Bemilte Kaid retains its status. Hachanami, he too, this is regarding wheat flour, Afal Gav, the Ishtane, even though it has been changed from a solid to a powder, Bimil Teka, it retains its original status in regard to blessings. Midame, is it comparable to olive oil? Hatam late, le iluya, acharina, there it does not have another impertinent. Hacha it le iluya, acharina, bepat. Here it has another improvement of being processed into bread. But when it has another improvement, we do not recite on it the blessing for uh, Priyadama, but rather Shehakol, Shehakol Nye Bivaro, Baha Amar Rabbi Zera Amar Rav Matna Amar Shmuel. Why Rabbi Zerah said in the name of Rav Matna, Rav Matna, who said in the name of Shmuel, Akara Chaya Bekimcha de Saare on raw pumpkin and barley flour, Mevachi Nana Layehu Shakol Nehiye Bidvaro. We recite the blessing that everything came into being through His word. My Lav Dechite Bore Priyadama. Is it not uh, on wheat? Uh, so is isn't there an implication that for wheat we say Bore Priyadama? Lo, no. Tichite nami shakol nye bidvaro. And we too, uh, we also say shakol nye bidvaro. 
teach us that um, that we do shakol on wheat and certainly on the flour of barley. I ashmi ashminan If you had taught us shakol is on wheat, hava mina hane mile I would have said that this applies to the flour of wheat. Aval de saare lo lebarecha le kalal. But on flour of barley, one does not recite any blessing at all. Kamash malan, he informs us. So this comes to inform us. This comes to inform us uh, that on Bali you specially say shakol. Umiga rami melach vezamit. But why? But uh, is it less than salt or brine, which uh, which doesn't require a blessing? Now, for we learned in a baraisa al hamelach balazamit on salt and on brine, omer shakol niyeh bidvaro. One recites shakol niyeh bidvaro. It's true. It was necessary. Sakatata amina. It might have entered your mind to say melach bezamit avili nash desha de lefume lefume lefume. A person is apt to throw salt or brine into his mouth. Aval kimcha de de saare ba bali flour ho il ve kashe le kukya e le kukya ne since it is bad for your stomach and causes intestinal wounds lo le varecha le klau one should not recite a blessing on it at all. Kamash malan he informs us that kevan to eat le hanaa mi ne ba e baruche since one derives pleasure from eating barley flour. One must recite a blessing on it. Now we're just going to scroll down. So we're on the fourth line of the second half uh, of the second uh, section, of the white section. So we're at the two dots. We're about to start Kora. Kora, that is palm shoots. I uh, just read about that. Um, so this is the new growth of palm shoots, which is soft and edible, which eventually hardens into wood. So Kora, Rabbi Yoda Amar Bore Priyadama, Rabbi Yoda says Bore Priyadama, Ushmuel Amar Shakol Niyeh Bidvaro, but Shmuel says Shakol Niyeh Bidvaro. Rabbi Yoda Amar Bore Priyadama, Rabbi Yoda says. Uh, it is a fruit. Ushmuel Amar Shakol Niyeh Bidvaro Ho'il Besopo Lehakshot Since it eventually hardens and becomes inedible. So how can you consider it a fruit? Amar Le Shmuel Le Rav Yoda Shmuel said to Rav Yoda Shinana Kavatach Mis... Mistabra sharp one. It, uh, so small. Uh, one sharp one. Shinana. So Rav Yoda was referred to as Shinana, the sharp one, because of his sharp analytical abilities. Sharp one. It seems more reasonable as uh, like like what you say. The heart and non shot for radish eventually hardens too if it comes to full maturity. Yet we recite on this but uh, this is not valid. People plant radishes with the intent of eating a soft radish. Um, people do not plant palm trees with the intent of eating the palm shoots. But wherever people do not plant with the intent of this, we do not recite on it a blessing. Uh, why there is a caper bush which people plant for the sake of the caper berry. Yet we learned in a Baraisa, 
uh, on the various types of paper it produces, al alin the al hatsmarot on the leaves and the date like our growths, al meo bore pri ha adama. One recites bore pri ha adama. For al ha adionot, for al ha hakafrisin, and on the berries and on the husks that cover the fruit. Omel bore pri ha eds. One recites bore pri ha eds. Amar Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak said, Tzalaf nat'e in she adata deshuta, people plant the caper bush with the intention of eating the sprouts, dikla lo nat'e in she adata dekora, people do not plant a palm tree with the intention of eating palm shoots, but afa gav dekalse shmuel Rav Yoda, and even though Shmuel praised Rav Yoda, the halacha accords with Shmuel in, in that you recite Shahakol on the palm trees. Ama Rav Yoda, Ama Rav, Rav Yoda said in the name of Rav, Slav Shel Arla, Bechutza La Ared, a caper bush of Orla outside the land of Israel, Zorek et ha Evionot, Velchel et ha Kaprisin, one throws away the berries and eats the husks. <coughs> La Maimra de Avionot, Pere the Caprisin, La Pere, to say that the berries are a fruit and the husks are not a fruit? Or Minehu, but note the contradiction between them. Al Mine Mitzvah, on the various types of Kapa, Al Ha Ali, Al Hatmarot, on the leaves and the date like outgrowths, Amar Omer Brave Bore Priyadama, one recites the one who creates the fruit of the ground. But Al Ha Avionot, but Al Hakafrisin and on the berries and on the husks, Omer Bore Priyayet, one recites the one who creates the fruit of the tree. Hu de Amar Karabi Akiva, he has said in accordance with the view of Rabbi Akiva, Ditna, who learned in a Mishnah, Rabbi Eliezer Omer, Rabbi Eliezer says, Slav mit Aset, Marot, the Avionot, the Kafrisin, the Cape Bush requires tithing, uh, the date like outgrowths, berries and husks. Rabbi Akiva Omer, Rabbi Akiva says, Ein mitaser ela evyonot bilvad, it does not require tithing other than the berries. Mipnei shehu pri, because the berry is fruit. Vnei mahalacha ka Rabbi Akiva, but let him say the halacha follows Rabbi Akiva. I amar halacha ka Rabbi Akiva, if he had said the halacha follows Rabbi Akiva, <coughs> I would have uh, I mean, uh, Aretz. I would have said, even in the land of Israel, Kamash Maland, He informs us, Kol Aretz. Whoever holds the leaning position in the land of Israel, Halacha Kamotzah Bechutzah Aretz. The Halacha follows him outside the land. Ava Aretz Lo, but in the land of Israel, no. Benema Halacha Karabi Akiva Bechutzah Laaretz, but. Uh, let him say the halacha follows Rabbi Akiva outside the land. Because whoever holds the leaning position in the land, the halacha follows him outside the land. If he had said this, sorry, masar. My sir, Elan, I would have said that this applies with regarding to the tithing of trees. Deva Aretz Kufa Mitrabanam, which in the land itself is by rabbinical decree. Aval Gavi Arla Deva Aretz Mitor Aisa, but with regard to Orla, which in land is is prohibited by um, by the Torah, Aim of Chutzla Aretz Nami Nigzor, I would say outside the land too, we should decree it. We should decree that it's forbidden. Kamash Malan, uh, so he therefore informs us. Ravina Ashkeche Lamabar Rav Ashi de Kazari Kevyonot Kaachil Kaprisin. Ravina Femar Bar Rav Ashi throwing away the caper berries and eating the husks. This is outside the land of Israel. Amale Ravina said to him, Maitata, what's your opinion on this matter? 
the Rabbi Akiva Demeko, in accordance with Rabbi Akiva, who is lenient, Levid Markevet Shammai de Mikile Tve, but let the master act in accordance with Beis Shammai, who is even more lenient. Ditnam for Lenjin of Baraisa, Salaf the Kaper Bush, Beit Shammai Omri, and Beit Shammai says, Kalaim Bakerem. Kilaim in the in the vid in the vineyard. Uvetil Lomrim Ain Kilaim Bakerem. It is not Kalaim in the in the vineyard. Eidu Ve Elu Modim Shekhaya Ba Orla, these and those agree that the caper bush is subject to Orla. Hagufa Kasha, this is inherently difficult. Amat Salaf Bechamayomrim Kilaim Bakerem, you say that the caper bush and Beit Shammai says Kalaim in the vineyard. Alma min Yereku, evidently the caper bush is a type of vegetable. Bahata Tane, but it states Eluva Elumodim Shechaya Ba Orla. These and those agree that the caper bush is subject to Orla. Alma min Ilanhu, it is evident it is a type of tree. There is no difficulty. Beit Shammai sepuke mas bekalehu. Beit Shammai is uncertain. Ve'avde hacha lechumra, bacha lechumra. Therefore, they act here stringently in regard to kliim, and and here they act, uh, and here they act stringently with regard to Ola, and treat the caper bush as a tree. Mikoma kom in any event le Beit Shammai havale safek. Orla, according to Beit Shammai, it is questionable Orla. Utnan, and we learned in the Mishnah, Safek Orla, questionable Orla, but Eretz Yisrael Asur, in the land, it is forbidden. Over Surya Mutar, in Syria it is permitted. Over Chutz La'ari, it's your red. And in the, outside the land, uh, one may go down, one may go down, meaning that they can go down and buy. So I'll just finish on the next page. Belokech and buy uvilvad. That means you can buy from a seller. Uvilvad shelo yer yer enu loket, provided that he does not see the seller gathering the fruit from the trees, which might be subject to our life.